Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi. teacher. Hi, can you hear me well? Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Can you hear me well? How are you doing tonight? Hi, teacher. Um, unmute the microphones, please. Can everyone hear me? Hector, Irene. You listen to me? Yes. Hi. Hi, Miss Anna. Can you hear me well? Yes. Ah, okay. I because hear I don't know, Mr. Mauricio was confusing me. I thought you couldn't hear me. <laughs> How are you doing? How was the short vacation you took? Was it good? I was uh, excellent. Oh, it was. It was, right? Okay, great. Hold on. Does Give me one second. I'm using a different computer tonight, so it, um, it's a little bit complicated. Okay, is everybody on the platform right now? Guys, you're not participating. The signal is good. Yeah, I don't know if that's the case for you only. That's a, that's a thing. Rina, can you hear me well, or is it breaking up? Yeah, I can hear you well. Okay, thank you. No, I needed, I needed to make sure. All right, I'm gonna share the screen with you. Just give me one second. Hi, teacher. I am William Gutierrez. I hear you very well. Okay, perfect, thank you. So, uh, if there's any new student here, my name is Jocelyn Navas. It's a pleasure working with you again. If you have any questions at any point, you can ask me, all right, and let's try to participate as much as possible. Okay, we're gonna start intermediate two tonight. All right, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Yeah. Very good, all right, let's read the objective. We're gonna get started, okay? Do you have any questions? No? All right, so everybody mute the microphone, remember? Mr. Wilbur, I think you're there, right? Can you read the objective for us, please? I know. Hello. Hi, Mr. Wilbur. Can you read the objective, please? Yes. In this uh, lesson, particip participants will listen and practice a conversation between family members between family members, right? Very good. Okay. We're going to watch the video, pay attention, take notes if necessary. Okay. Here we go. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so. Can you hear the audio? Yes, yeah. I can. Yeah, okay, great. Yes, I listen good. Oh, try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason. Turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. 
Listen and practice. Okay. Um, are there any new words for you? Hello, teacher. What? Hi, any what new vocabulary? You? Very low, teacher. Turn down. Very, oh, turn down, all right. The third line. The third line, mm -hmm. oh, very loud is the volume. Like it could be low or it could be loud. Is that clear? Okay. We're talking about the volume. It's low and loud. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank then you. somebody also asked for turn down, right? Turn down is to reduce the volume. Mm -hmm. So you have turn down and turn. What's the opposite? Up. Up. Exactly. All right. Anything else? Hang up, teacher. Where is it? Ah, hang up is, it's a phrasal verb used for the phone. Um, so you have pick up, right? When you first answer the phone, it's pick up. And the opposite of pick up is hang up. Um, phrasal verbs. Yes. So repeat after me. We're going to um, emphasize this. And so say very loud. Very loud. Very loud. Very loud. Very loud. All right. Guys, the microphone. Hold on. Turn oh. down. Turn down. Turn up. Turn up. Turn down. Pick up. Pick up. Hang up. Hang up. You are Hang right. You should write those. Okay. Up. Practice the pronunciation. Repeat after me. Okay. Mm -mm, let me see. Any questions about the pronunciation? I don't think we need to practice it like that anymore. So we can just do it right now and modify it. Okay. Are you ready? Or do you have yes. questions about the pronunciation? No? No, Okay. No question. Let's practice in pairs. Give me one second. We're going to work in pairs. Accept the invitation, please. Accept the invitation. Miss Ana Hiron, are you there? Accept the invitation, please. I just sent it. And you too, Mr. Guillermo, please. Okay, teacher. Accept accept the invitation. Thank you. Do you me? Do you miss your okay. And me, Jason, and I think that Hector is Lisa. It's okay. Are you okay, Hector? Yes. I am. I am can feel. Mr. Phil. Mr. Phil. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Jason. Jason. Turn down that TV, please. Okay. Jason, I'm sorry. I, we are the, the modifying the conversation. In this case, uh, Anna, Anna, <laughs> turn down the television, please. Um, oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very 
very boring. Ah, it's the change. Uh -huh. The change the verb. Uh, um, okay. I looking for another program. <laughs> Okay. Can you? Uh, center down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They are over the, the floor. In a minute, ma'am. I'm on the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you hang up. I'm sorry, that is floor. Okay. They're on the floor. Mr. William Gutierrez, you're on your own. Nobody with you. Hi, Mr. Gutierrez. Hi, teacher. I got a little problem. Why? I, 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 I lost the, the meeting when I was, I was made the exercise with Wilbur. When I come back the meeting, my computer freezes the, the, the connection. Yes, and I think that Wilbur had an issue as well. Okay. Yeah, because Wilbur Wilbur is not here. I don't I know. I think I will try to to join again with the with the meeting. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna try right now. Hold on. Okay, accept it right now. are over the floor. Are you almost Thanks. finished? In, in minute, mom, I on the pre In this case, okay. uh, in this case, the conversation uh, say turn down. Maybe you um, say uh -huh, turn off. Yes, it's okay. Bajarle el volumen. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. We're gonna go back now. Okay. I still make that. I don't. I. All righty. Did you guys practice? All done. Yes, I did. Yes, okay, volunteer, would somebody like to share how you modify the dialogue? Volunteers? <laughs> Me teacher. All right, Irene, go ahead, light, camera, action. <laughs> With you? Okay. Okay, Jocelyn. Uh, Irene, who were you practicing with? You were practicing with Miss Elena, right? Oh, okay. Or, or no, with Anna, Anna Hiron. Miss Anna. There she is. You're going to practice with Anna. Uh, do it with Anna. I was practicing with Trina. Ah. Who were you with, Miss Irene? Uh, with Anna, Anna Hiron. Anna. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Anna. <laughs> Begin, Irene. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. oh. I am Mr. Phil. 
Ana. Turn off the, the radio, please. The radio. Uh, oh, but it's my favorite song. Favorite. Favorite song. I know, but it's very Blue. very strong. Very loud. Okay. I'll... Sorry? It's very loud. It's very loud. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll turn it down. Turn off. I'll turn it off to say it that's one great. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> okay, that's very good. Applause for them. <laughs> good job. Okay, uh, any questions about that? Did you take notes of the vocabulary? What is the opposite? another question, teacher? All right, what is the opposite of turn on? What's the opposite? Turn them. Turn, the opposite of turn on, guys? Uh, up. No. Turn off. Turn off. Okay. Turn on, turn turn off. off. Like the lights, right? Turn, turn on. Off. Okay. What is the opposite of turn it down? Turn up. up. Turn down. Turn up. Exactly. Very good. What turn is down. the opposite of hang turn. up? What's the opposite of hang up? Pick up. Pick up. Yes. Pick up. Hang Great. down. Or why pick, pick up, up the phone? Hang up the phone. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's continue here. Rina, read the objective. In this lesson, you will practice using two part verbs to make requests. Request. Okay, two part verbs. See that. We're going to watch yeah, this video. Everybody mute the microphone, please. Guys, the microphone. Somebody's watching TV. Let me see. Oh, I got it. All right. Nope. No, Mr. Guillermo Santos, please. Okay. There it is. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs will for responding to requests with nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. 
As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. With nouns. Turn down. Okay, so here are some of the phrasal verbs that we identified in the dialogue. And we already know the meaning, right? Pick up has three meanings. Let me see. No, it has two meanings, actually. What are the, the meanings of pick up? If it's the phone or if it, well, it's basically the same, right? You can use it for the phone or let me give you three examples using that. You already know those. We've seen the, the phrase overs, but for example, I can tell you, I will pick up the kids from school, all right? That is one usage of it. Another one would be, I am going to, let me use will instead, I will pick up the phone. Okay, and another one is, the, the one we saw in the example, pick up your clothes. All right, can you see or distinguish the three meanings? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it basically means to pick up something, either the phone, clothes, or whatever it is, all right? Also people. In this case, guys, in the case of children, all right, what, and I think I mentioned this in class before, what is the opposite of pick up? In that case, the opposite would be drop off. Okay. So, for example, is my, my husband, only an example, right? Drops me off at 5 a.m. Imagine, right? Drops me off at work and he picks me up at 4 p.m. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. So yes, teacher. Drop you off and then pick you up, okay? So those are all the names. I clean. <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> are you yeah. clean? All right, great. So what it's telling you here, do you have a questions about this part? What it means when it says that, um, if it's a noun, you can put it in between. Do you have questions about that part? It's, it's possible to say, I drop off the bag at the airport. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. You dropped it off, but you oh. left it there, right? You didn't pick it up, you didn't retrieve it. Uh, you left it there. It's the opposite. Okay. All right. So what this is telling you guys is that it is impossible for all phrase helpers. We're gonna study a lot and this is one of the most useful but also complicated things about English, phrase helpers, because we have to memorize a lot and just changing one of the prepositions is gonna change the complete meaning of it, all right? So it says, for example, um, I will turn off it is this is this okay turn off okay look nope hold on where did it go all right there it is so which one is correct out of these two i will turn off the tv number two this is correct. Okay, very good. What about number one? Is it right? Number two. This is right. What about the first one? Number 
Is the first one okay? This is wrong. Wrong. Right? Why? Because it's not a noun. It's an object. What are the objects? Let's review that quickly. Okay. It. What is the object for he? Object pronoun, guys. Him. Okay. Object pronoun for she. Her. 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 Okay. And so on. Okay. Me. You. Our. Your. Them. Us. Yeah. Okay. With these, you can never put them after the phrasal verb. Is that right? Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, I want you to pay attention to the last part of it. Mm, hold on, guys. I'm using another computer, so it's kind of hard tonight. Hold on. Where am I? Oh, here it is. All right. I want you to pay attention to the last part. Please take notes of the phrasal verbs because we're about to practice. Right? Write them down. We're going to discuss the meaning in a second. So let's watch the last part of it. Types of verbs are made up of two parts a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Do you have any questions about the phrasal verbs? Another question, teacher. Sorry? Another no question. No questions is what you mean? Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of put off? It was palm. Can you give me an example quickly before we start practicing? I don't know if this I will right. put off the, the meeting. I will put off the meeting or I will put the meeting off. Very good. Okay. What about pick up? Can you give me an example? Pick up. Mm -hmm. I pick up my clothes. All right, great. Hold on. One with call back. Call back. Mm -hmm. An example, please. I will call you back later. Very good. Okay, I'm going to send you some questions for you to discuss using the phrasal verbs. All right, make sure you're doing it right. And if somebody is making a mistake, please let them know. We're going to work in groups of three using the phrasal verbs we just learned. I will send you some questions on WhatsApp. Okay, you have your phone handy? Yep. 
All right, I I need one minute though. I'm gonna make the groups right now and in one minute I'll send you the questions. Ready? Ready or not, here we go. Uh, Tony, Veronica, and Franklin, could you accept the invitation, please? Or let me let me see if I sent it to you. Okay, I'm gonna send it right now. So accept it, please. There it is. Accept it, please. Second, second question. Second question, uh, Mauricio. What clothes do you put on? Uh, in the second question. What clothes do you put on in put on in winter or summer for work? Yes, we got all of them one, one by one. I usually put. What for us uh, do you put off in summer? In summer, I put up uh, chores and teachers. I put up um, sandals. Sandals, <laughs> it's okay. On winter, a jacket uh, or sweater. In the summer, uh, short and um, t-shirt on the beach. Sorry. For work, uh, I shirt uh, jeans 
and the last one on the weekend uh, short sorry guys okay. try to emphasize the phrasal verb okay so say in summer i put on short and a t-shirt and so on use the phrasal verb because oh, that's the most important thing all right okay great in summer i put on uh -huh. in summer i put on shorts and la 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 okay. because it's hot it's very yeah. early why Sorry, because make sure, make sure you're using, workout. sorry guys, make sure you're using the phrasal verb, all right? Emphasize it. So say, I wake up, I put on this kind of clothes and so on. Use the phrasal verb in the answers, please. In the answer. Okay. No, while you answer, try to emphasize the phrasal verb. Use it to answer the question. I always wake up uh, for I am. What time do you wake up? I I wake up at five I am. Okay. The next question do we, uh, do your neighbors ever make you up on the Saturday? I think it says on Sunday, right? <laughs> Sunday, sorry. Yeah, have, you, have you ever been in that situation where you really want to sleep on Sunday and they start repairing stuff? <laughs> uh, yeah. Pa, 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 pa. 9 a.m. on <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Mr. Guillermo, ask the next question for Mauricio. Okay. What time do you wake up? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. What time do you wake up? What time do you Yes. I... Neighbor, neighbor, can neighbor, the sino. Ah, sí. yeah, the next one. Do your neighbor ever wait wake you up on Sunday? How? Mm -hmm. Neighbor is, is like natural rate is vecino. Mm -hmm. Pero que que pregunta? Si tu vecino siempre Me levanta el domingo. Uh -huh. For the mm. for the night. <laughs> Yes. Also the noise. Uh, no, my neighbor. Sorry, uh, teacher. Also the noise. Silence. They are. Si no se despiertan, vea. Más yes. 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 Logro comprender. Yes. Ajá, tus vecinos se siempre que siempre tus vecinos se despiertan los domingos y cómo. Mm, but my neighborhood, they have a. Uh, a dogs. I like dogs, but she always Rufo, Rufo. <laughs> <laughs> what time? Okay, I want to say, what did you say? Five a.m. Five a.m. Oh. What did you say? <laughs> My neighbors never wake 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 me up on Sundays. Mm -hmm. I uh -huh. wake up at nine or ten a.m. Mm -hmm. On Sunday. Anna, she always, every day. <laughs> <laughs> my neighbor too. My neighbor every day wake up at 6 a.m. My neighbor wakes up at 6 a.m. every day. Every day. You have to modify the order, all right? Okay, okay. Did you finish? Uh, no. no. Do you get dropped off at dropped work? Off. Dropped off. Dropped, dropped off. off. Yeah. What is the meaning drop off? Drop off is the opposite of pick up. Sorry? Oh, I, I okay, get for dropped. Example, for example, right? I'm going to drop off my brother at 5 a.m. and I will pick him up at 4 p.m. So drop off and pick up. It's the opposite.
Did you get trapped? <laughs> Never. Teacher, uh, I, well, I have a question. Tell me. The, the meaning of drop, drop, drop is like uh, dejar fuera. No, drop off is the opposite of pick up in that case. I don't, I don't hear you. Drop off yeah. is the opposite of pick up. So it could be pick a package, up? for example, it could be a person. Imagine you start working at 7 a.m., right? And mm -hmm. your husband drops you off at 7 a.m. And he picks um, you up at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, I'm going to drop off the package in the morning. And uh -huh. so it could be a thing or a person. Is that clear? Yeah, yes. I guess that uh, alguien me, me va a dejar el trabajo. Yeah, exactly. There you go. You got okay. it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mm -hmm. I don't. Hello. Yes. Do you pick up the phone while at work? Prina, are you on your own? Yes, they leave me. <laughs> How? What happened? Uh, we finished. So okay. they just leave. They're probably uh -huh, on the main station. I was checking. Hold on. Let's go back. Okay. Hi guys. Welcome back. Hey, I I have something to say. Okay, if you finish uh, before I close the sessions or the the breakout rooms. Let me know, please. Send a message here on Zoom, through Zoom. Because I was checking and nobody had finished, but then I realized that there was a group that had already finished, but you didn't inform me. You have to let me know when you finish, please, okay? Okay, I got it. Thank you. Let's do that. Any questions about the vocabulary? Some no, of no you other questions, teacher. Teacher? Yes? No question. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, can you hear me? Um, can you share the screen uh, complete with the phrasal verb? Yes, here it is. We can take a screenshot. These are opposites. Yeah. All right. Turn on, turn off. Turn down, turn up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's your boss. I, I will talk. Uh, I will uh, take a, a picture. Yeah, take a screenshot. Would you might take, uh, Teacher, one, one question. WhatsApp yeah, group, send it to WhatsApp. Tell me. Thank you. One question, teacher. Mm hmm what is what is drop it? That is the past of drop. Look, drop off, and in the past it is dropped off. Drop. That is passive voice. It's like usted es dejado en el trabajo. That's the question in the morning or by okay. someone else. It's passive voice. Oh. So it's in the past. Okay, thank you. And the you. pronunciation of this is dropped. No, it actually, dropped. it doesn't mean dejado, but it means more like like botado, but it's not <laughs> no really <laughs> it's not when you leave the, your job <laughs> when you when you go to home no 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 oh. not at all it's like like you have a package all right you drop it off <laughs> and then you pick it up okay. or a person okay when, when you when you arrive to the work uh, uh, i understand i understand not when you arrive to work, no. It literally, it means if you say, for example, yo tiro a mis hijos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Something okay. like that, all right? A uh, las cinco y los recojo, all right? <laughs> like a package. And it's not incorrect. That's the way you say it. It sounds funny, but it it's is. It's Tosco. Uh -huh, okay. it, is. it is, but it is correct, okay? Anyway, we're going to do one more exercise. Um, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Everybody, everybody should be on section 1.4. All right. Uh, take a look at the vocabulary. Mr. Tony, read the vocabulary, please. Um, thank you, teacher. The book, the toys, the radio, the radio. your jackets, radio. The cha your jacket, the TV, mm -hmm. your boots, 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 the jar, 
Yard. It's not G. All right. Listen, guys. This is G. G yard. 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 Like, like, like you. Yard. 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 The lights. The trash. The dog. Repeat after me, guys. The books. The books. books. The books. books. The books. Toys. The toys. The, toys. the radio. The, the radio. radio. The jacket. The jacket. 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 It has to vibrate here. Jacket. 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 V. The TV. The TV. 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 Boots, 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 yard, 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 the lights, the lights, trash, 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 the dog, the dog, guys. There's no barking tonight. That's good. All right, let's do the exercise. So pick up. What do you think it is? Help me out. Everybody go Pick to the the trash, please. Pick up the toys. The toys. The toys. Okay. The toys. Two. The TV. Turn the TV. Turn the TV. Turn. Turn. Oh, the, oh, the radio. The radio. The radio. The radio. The radio. Turn the light. Number uh, the three, light the, 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 the year. <laughs> Turn the lights off. You know what? It is correct if you say the radio, the TV, or the light. So I don't know. Number three. The yard. Clean up. The yard. Clean, Clean the, the yard. The yard up. Clean the, the, Clean the, the yard. yard up. Yeah. That's it, guys. You need to add clean up. Okay, that's another phrase, Albert. Clean up. All right, number four. Clean up. The books. The, the, the trash away. The trash. Very good. Put away. Num number four, the books. <laughs> Let me see. Put, put away. All right. That's another phrase, Albert. Add it to the list. Clean up. Put away. Put away. Yeah. But then, put away. Put away. Put away is like, put it far from here. Far, far away. <laughs> yeah. Put away. <laughs> put away is what that. Put the trash away. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's probably the one. All right. Put away the toys, please. Put a, put. Is it the toys? The books. The toys in the fields, the trash. Put, the put trash. away the, yeah. the trash. Put away would be more like guardar. Put, a, put, put away, away the trash. Pick up the yeah. toys, the fields. Pick up the, the books, the chair. Okay. Trash. Number, let's try because there's more than one option, but we're trying to figure it out. Number five, please turn down. Please down. Turn down the TV. The radio. The radio. Radio. No. Or the light. Yeah, number six. Your box. Take off. Your box. Okay, look at this. What is the opposite of take? That of take off. We practice. Take it. off. No, no, we practice it. Uh huh. Exactly. Put on. Um. Put on. Um. Put on. <laughs> Let me see. Take mm -hmm. off. The opposite of take off is put on. Put on. Put on. Take off. Despegar. No. Yes. Yes, but it also means quitarse y ponerse, like something on. Take um. off. Take off, quitar, para poner. Take off, take off. Take off. You have to connect the sounds and pronounce that K. Take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. Listen, there might be more than one meaning for the same phrase, Albert. There might be up to four meanings, all right? So we're going to practice with one right now. You cannot get that confused, okay? Uh, number seven. The jacket. Your jacket. Your jacket. Jacket up. Your jacket, guys. It has to vibrate. Right, number eight. Your jacket. The, the, the trash. trash. That's the one. That has hey. to be trash, right? Trash. The trash. 
Rush. Pick up. Pick up the books or the toys, probably. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm, I don't know anymore. But take out. Take the trash out. That has to be the one. Great. Take out. Add it. Add it to your list. Next. Number nine. nine. The dog. Let the dog out. Oh, oh. Add it to the list. Let let out, let out. It's not British pronunciation, what we are using, so we're not saying let out, okay? Let out, take out, let out, put away, let out. Let out. Good thing, because it would sound weird. Anyway, pull, turn on. Right. Turn on. Turn on the TV. The TV, nice, nice. Turn on that TV, please. Let me see, everything except the book. What is the what is number one? What ground? What is that? The toys. The toys. The toys. Pick up the toys. So what about why do I have it repeated then? Please. The please. toys teacher. But I have it here already. The toys anyway. Okay. Well. Take notes because it might be confusing, all right? Number one is the toys, two, the lights, three, the yard, four, the toys, again, five, the radio, six, your boots, seven, your jacket, eight, the trash, nine, the dog, ten, the TV. Okay, any questions? No, no question. question. Practice the pronunciation. The, a teacher, mm -hmm. use me. Uh, Always, uh, I have pushed in medio el, el nombre del, del verbo doble. Um, most commonly, but not necessarily. So if it's a noun, you can put it in between. If it's an object pronoun, it always goes in between. But if it's a noun, it can go either in between or at the end. The problem is that with certain phrasal verbs, you can they're called separable and inseparable. That's a complex topic. You would have to memorize it, but try to, you know what, try to get familiar with it, with the usage of it and how we're doing so. Because if you try to memorize whether you can break it or not, it's going to be hard. But maybe later on, I will send you a list of what phrasal verbs are separable and which ones are inseparable. So I cannot give you a rule like that. Just know that if it is an object pronoun, it has to go in between. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, it's time for me to go. I hope you see. Can you take, take us? Can you send? Thank you. Send tomorrow. In the Word document by WhatsApp, please. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Take a screenshot of the list. Thank you. And and share it. All right. Here it is. Pick out okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, See you tomorrow. You See you tomorrow. Good thank night. you. The same for you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Okay, good night.